doing? Yes, I'm gonna go straight into it. Uh, I'm in my 40s. Yeah, and um, I'm starting to gray. Well, I wouldn't say gray, that's like I got like hella white hair and the white hair and the black hair on my head ain't getting along. It's like the white hair is gentrifying the black hair on my head. It's like raising the rent and all the black hair is moving uptown to low income housing. Like the other day, like one of the white hairs pulled over the black hair and it died. Now they're starting an all black root matter movement going on. I'm like, y'all need to cut it out. I'm with... I love comedy, man. This is, I love this. This is, I used to get fired, kicked out of class. Now I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of money. It's a little bit of money. Yeah. It's better than a couple of years ago. It was kind of rough for comics, you know? I don't know. You know this. I moved to Vegas, and I'm like, yo, Vegas. And then the lockdown happened. I'm like, yo, where am I going to get the money to pay my rent? Thank God Uncle Sam hit us with that unemployment. Hey. Yeah, everybody, unemployment. Just a few people clapped, you know. Something billion people was on unemployment, just five of us. Like, would all y'all essential workers out there? Get the fuck out of here. This is some bullshit. But you could tell, yo, you could tell that the government, like, they don't know, like, minimum wage can't sustain a family. You know, because the way they gave you the money, like, they wasn't sure, you know? It was like, is this okay? I was like, yeah. $600 every week, man. And then Trump hit you with that $1,400 every other month. I was like, yo, I haven't seen this much money in comedy in a long time. I was doing stupid shit with money. Because, you know, you was locked down, you, there's nothing open. So I was just buying everything I seen online. I was buying shit that I didn't need, I couldn't use. Like, I live in a high-rise. I bought me a rake, okay? <laughs> I was practicing on my rug, like, yo, man, when I get a yard, I'm gonna be doing this shit right here. This is... Fucking my rug up, you know? <clears throat> After a while, I was just like, y'all don't trust this, though, man. Like, to... I emailed unemployment. I was like, listen, I don't want your money no more. I'm good. I could do it myself. I don't need your money. I'm good. But it's really because they wanted to see the progress are you applying to jobs every week? I was like, yo, if I apply for a job every week, I might just get a job. <laughs> I don't want to get no damn job, but I ain't want to get off my unemployment. You know, so I started applying to jobs that I know I wasn't going to get. Like I applied to be an anesthesiologist. <laughs> it was like, no, sir. I was like, listen, fuck, I know how to draw blood. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it, shit. But I was mad, you know what I mean? When black people get mad, they shuffle their feet like, nigga, I know what the fuck. <laughs> nigga, I slap shit out of you, what's good? <laughs> fuck, nigga. <laughs> this shit right here. <laughs> Yo, white folks, if you see two black dudes in the parking lot, one of them do this shit, just run, cuz. <laughs> I, uh, I applied to be, uh, I applied to be um, a pope. <laughs> Imagine my ghetto ass with my own Catholic church. What, you know that smoky thing they'd be walking through the hallways with? My shit would have straight chronic in it. I'd be like, yo! <laughs> I'd be walking by people, they go, oh, this is lit, this is lit, this is lit. <laughs> Even the big giant Jesus in the background, he I applied, to, I applied to be an astronaut. It was like, no, sir. I was like, listen, I know how to be an astronaut, all right? You ever go to these dispensaries out here in Vegas and smoke their highest grade weed and try to go to your refrigerator? It really feel like you on the moon and shit. You really like. <laughs> I'm in my hallway for 45 minutes. <laughs> my girl come downstairs in regular time, walk right past me. Go inside the refrigerator and close it. I'm like, bitch, no! 
everything I do is slow motion. We fucking like, uh, I'm not, it's like, bloop, 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 bloop. she's like, you is stupid. No. <laughs> so stupid. Speaking of stupid, man, don't you, don't you hate when, when somebody uh, give you a stupid answer? Don't it make you reply back with a dumb question by mistake, though? Right? I go in, uh, I go in Dunkin' Donuts. I go to have my favorite coffee. It's, it's, uh, it's called the Dunkachino. It's half hot cocoa and half coffee, right? Go to the cashier. I was like, can I get a medium Dunkachino, please? She was like, a medium Dunkachino? What size? <laughs> I was like, w w what sizes do you have? Stupid question by mistake. <laughs> and she was like, small, medium, or large? I was like, can I get a large? So I got the large coffee, right? And I was drinking it and walking out. I was like, man, this is way too much that I could drink. I should have just got a medium. <laughs> sarcasm. Love movies, man. My favorite is like the Marvels, man. Anybody fan of the Marvels? I love Marvel movies, man. My favorite is um, the, uh, the Infinity Wars. You know, if you didn't see it, it's about, a, it's about a villain searching the galaxy for these six stones. And each stone got a mystical power. You know, it's dope. You know, they have like a time stone, reality stone, power stone. And the sixth stone they were after was on Earth. It was called a time stone. Now, with that time stone is dope. I mean, I, if, I, if I ever get my hands on one of them, that's all I need. I don't care about nothing else, just the time stone. Because with the time stone, you can manipulate time. You can go forwards, backwards, front. You could, if you fuck up in life, you just redo the shit. <laughs> now, listen, I will save the world if I had to. But with that time stone, I would do some ignorant and perverted shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I do with my, with my time stone? First thing I do... I would turn my eight second nut into three months. <laughs> Think about it, man. You fucking, you fucking, oh, oh God, oh God. <laughs> She'd be like, let me get some. <laughs> Y'all see us out in the street, we'd be skinny as fuck, like, hey guys. <laughs> my ball's big as fuck though, you know what I mean? <laughs> Now, you know what I do to save humanity just, just for a day, just for a day? I will grab Kanye, take him back to slavery, and leave his ass there. I'll be like, hey, Kanye, you see that guy on the horse with the whip? Tell him slavery was an option. But I'll go get him, I'll go get him, I'll go get him, I'll go get him. <laughs> Kanye, Kanye, wow, man. I don't know, man. I, I like Kanye, but I don't think he crazy, crazy. He crazy, but he ain't crazy, crazy. Okay? You know, Kanye's like that friend, man. You know that friend, like, you ever be out partying with your friends and y'all you, drunk? Cop pull y'all over, and he look, he know you drunk and high, and he let you go. Kanye, that friend in the back seat that wake up, yo, he forgot about the cocaine. Yo, Kanye, shut up, man. What's wrong with you? Shut up! <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I blame the Kardashians. It's, I blame the Kardashians, man, because if you look at it, anybody the Kardashians had sex with, they changed. Look at Lamar Odom. Basketball star, rings, championship, smoking crack, drinking problems, seeing the shrink. You know, Scott Disick, successful rich dude, man. Drinking problem, seeing a shrink. Bruce Jenner. <laughs> I'm just saying, the motherfucker changed. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know, man. Damn, Kanye, four billion dollars. Gone. Could you say that? Four billion dollars, gone. 
man, let me tell you something. I would rather lose my dick than lose four billion dollars. <laughs> Because with $4 billion, I could buy a dope-ass pussy, okay? <laughs> and if it don't work out, I just put my dick back on. Fuck it. Is... Kanye something else. I don't know. He got married again. All right, he got married. I'm like, why would you do that, dude? Why would you get married again? I give Kanye five years. You know, five years. You'll see Kanye broke in one of these casinos and shit with a mop bucket. Like, yo... Y'all want to buy some sneakers and shit? <laughs> they took my money <laughs> in time and need. <laughs> I don't know. Social media ain't shit, though. I got to say, social media, is, it's like 85% lies, man. You know? And I don't believe anything you see viral, man. Because I was working a private event in Lake Las Vegas, right? You know, and um, these Filipino cats came with their jet skis. They pulled up and they parked it. I was like, yo, you got to move your jet ski because the party boat that's supposed to be here, they coming. You got to move it. And one of the F Filipino dudes was like, hey, man, fuck you. <laughs> I was like, man, whatever, man. So I hopped on the jet ski and tried to start it and push all of them. And one of the Filipino dudes swung at me. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, it's on. So I took my hat off, right? And I threw it up in the air. <laughs> it came back down, so, so I picked it up, and I, and I threw it back up in the air. Ain't nobody come to help me, man. They beat my ass. <laughs> they stomped me out. Don't believe that bullshit. No black people came to help me. There was black people there, but they was recording like, world star. <laughs> they stomped me out, man. But there was a gay dude like across, across the water, man. He seen the whole thing and he didn't say nothing, but with his eyes, he told me everything. With his eyes, he was looking at me. He gave me them eyes. He was just like. <laughs> you know, without saying nothing, his eyes was like, like, I'm right here. I'm right here, I got you. So as me getting beat up and I did the signal, I was like, yo, come over here. Let me tell you something. I did not know gay dudes got hands like that. Yo, he winded up his hands like they were weed whackers. He was like, <laughs> he beat all the asses. I was like, holy shit. So I picked him up by his legs. I was like, he was like, Zzz. I was like, get the hedges. He beat all the asses, right? And then he grabbed my hat and he gave it back to me. He was like, and he gave me this look. He was like, here's the hat back. So I fucked him. And, um, <laughs> yo, faces, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, I'm just kidding. My name is comedian Chris Clark. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you.